Hello folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. And we lost! We left off. Things are not looking good at the convent. We have the matron mother who's asked us, okay, demanded that we go and get the correct recipe of cat food for her cat, after setting us up for failure by putting the wrong cat food there. And we also have to help Edna stay hidden from Dr. Marcel, who's on his way apparently to sort us all out. Yeah, that's as ominous as we know it is. And also keep her hidden from Garrett, who she believes is spying and is out to get her. We've also been given the not-so-subtle hint that we need to get that hair clip. Now let's go and look at Suka, see if there's any different dialogue for talking specifically to Suka, and then go the only way that the game will let us go. And that is outside this hallway, probably to the main hallway. But first, Marbles, recipe. Lily had a recipe for cat food, but not to solve her problems. Darn it, no extra dialogue there, a shame. Also, I can just imagine Shine Suka watching as Lily goes over here to smash some marbles into a piece of paper. Suka was the most popular girl at the convent school. Lily would have stopped at nothing to gain her respect. But since Suka wasn't looking anyway, Lily refrained at the last moment. Quite wise. Hello. Shibuya power! Riot girl rules! Shing! Shing! I imagine there is a TV in the convent somewhere which allows them to watch these shows. Maybe there's one in their room. I don't know. But what I do know is there's no extra dialogue there. So, to the main hall we go. No music. Ah. Garrett, I presume. Hmm. Uh-huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him! Oh, I will go after him, but first, let's see what we can do here. There are a lot of ways we can go. There is the chapel, the well, the convent hallway, the stairway, the way we came, a balloon, chandelier, a painting, and the school bullies. Not looking forward to going that way, Let's look at everything else first. Like the balloon! It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. Oh, but I want it! No dialogue there for, uh, specifically looking at the balloon. It... Edna's balloon... I, I didn't... I wanted to look at the balloon. But I cannot... That's interesting. I thought there would be a specific thing for... Describing the balloon, but... There we go, let's look at the chandelier. The chandelier was dangling out of reach on a chain, going all the way to the tower. This always made the children want to swing from it without ever being able to. Nothing about describing a balloon being there, but there we go. What about the painting? Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal, with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. I don't think that's what that's picturing, but there we go. I suppose we should look at the bullies. They won't let us past. <sighs> yeah, they're not going to let us past. Let's deal with their last, shall we? Go this way. Ooh, this is nice. There's a lot of stuff here. There is the... Maintenance lap? Collection? Classroom? Nice looking gargoyle. Another gargoyle. Firecrackers! We're gonna need those. And the school clock. Let's start. But we can't right click these. I'll check that when we're about to go through. Anyway, gargoyle. The gargoyle seemed to worry about its companion but it also didn't lift a finger to stop it from falling. Typical. Also, it's made of stone. The gargoyle had lost its balance long ago. Only a thin rope was stopping it from falling. Why didn't it just give up? Because it's made of stone. Firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? I'm gonna guess Edna. 
The school clock was out of reach. Ah, well. All right, so. No other ways we can go. Let's right-click this and see if it gives me any description. No! Left-click only. Let's go, Lily! Oh, that... brings me to here. Oh! Can I mess with this? The hands of the school clock looked like irises, and the ornate mesh formed by the flower baskets looked like the blades of swords in a fantasy novel. They really made you want to pierce them. Hint, hint? The gargoyle, but it all typical. Okay, so we can't do anything here right now unless we... air hammer it? There was no way to attach that to the hand either. Of course, Lily could have planned this better, but as long as no one was drawing an animation for the clock, she didn't have to hurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Also, gargoyle. Although the gargoyle seemed worried, it didn't seem to need anything. If you didn't include such things as, uh, life. I mean, it does need to be living. What about firecrackers? Lily certainly wouldn't be able to get the firecrackers off the statue like that. Once again, her arms were too short and her line too long. <sighs> Gonna need something lengthy to get to there. Okay. So let's go to the collection. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, there's a man just sleeping here. And there are not as many things as you think there would be to interact. Is that a cat in a jar? That's a guinea pig. And that's one of the things that can be interacted with. Ooh, there's a lot we can do here. Let's get started. Another treasure chest. Today was probably the happiest day in Lily's life. Right after the day, she didn't have to eat rhubarb because one of her teeth had cracked. Um, I suppose that's a good thing? Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Also, there's something radioactive there. There's... I'm gonna have to put stuff there, aren't I? What about this... Okay, there's a gun here. There is a gun. There's also no paper cup. We have gone three videos, and there is no paper cup yet. What is this game? Lily had asked for a musket last Christmas. Instead, she'd been given a muskrat nibbling on gingerbread. Not quite what she was wanting. Hey, don't touch it. That's my... O I might be old, but I can... <laughs> I can tell you stories that'll make your ears ring. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment, but only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. So get your hands... hands... So I have some questions. Why do Boy Scouts get muskets? And is a guinea pig jar part of your Boy Scout equipment? Someone had trapped a guinea pig in a glass. The animal took it in stride. It didn't even try breaking out. Yeah, I don't think it can. Ah, we, we now have a, a guinea pig in a glass. Someone had trapped the animal. It didn't even... C can I combine this with something? The guinea pig was probably tired. It was completely unimpressed by Lily's things. Yeah, I don't think unimpressed is the word I'd use. Lily was worried. As clumsy as she tended to be, she'd probably need help getting it out. Lily ruefully thought about the debacle with a dwarf rabbit. Dwarf? D d hang on, I need to get the beginning of that. Lily was worried about hurting the guinea pig. As clumsy Lily... Okay, so we're gonna need help getting that out. Also shelf space. There were three empty pedestals on the shelf. That could mean something. Or nothing at all. I'm gonna guess puzzle. Also, there is something radioactive here. And that. And there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. And there's you. Oh, it wasn't the skeleton from biology class after all. It was just the old man again. From history class. Why is he here? Um... Oh, a visitor. What a rare, rare, rare animal. The hawk. 
But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with... with extra ketchup, please. Uh, um... Who are you? Uh, uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um... To tell you how it used to be. When the pyramids were built, I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh yes, I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history, Clav. Clav. So, two things are going on here. Either he has no idea what's going on anymore, or he's just making stuff up. And considering how blankly he's staring ahead, I believe it's probably the first one. We really should get him from off that. I dread to ask about a story, but I think we have to. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Um... I'll get to the first hellings. That's why I just for eggs or Okay, so nothing different there. I don't know what to do with this guy. So I'll just leave him for the time being. I don't want to get into there, but I'm sure we'll figure this out later. For now, to the classroom. Don't know why we want to go here, but we're going here. Oh! There's someone here! There's also some stuff to look at, like the cabinet, and the eagle model, and merge it. First this. The cabinet was locked, as usual. Hmm, bet we can't open it. Once again, Lily's efforts were in vain. Only Mother Superior could open the cabinet. I get the feeling she doesn't want to do that. I mean, we could also just smash it open with this. Once again, Lily's efforts were in vain. Darn it! Only Mother Superior could open the cabinet. Also, I haven't shown the man hanging off that uh, coat rack all of our stuff. This is important. We have to do this. You never know, he might have insight. He might be able to help us open up that thing with a guinea pig. Hi, would you like to... Would you like some marbles? What's that? It reminds me of... Uh, uh, of... No, nothing rings a bell. It reminds me of... Nothing at all. Oh, I thought that would be a thing that would provoke some silly dialogue. What about the jar? Anything there? What's that? It reminds me... Of... Uh, uh, of... No... It Okay, that doesn't remind you of anything. What about the recipe? 
What's that? It reminds me of... Go on. Uh, uh, Go on. No. It... Okay. Last chance saloon here. Air hammer. Come on. We can do this. What's that? It reminds... No. Oh. It... You don't remember anything. Also, you could double click to move places. Good to know. So, let's look at this. The animal motifs were taboo for Lily. Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. We've had a different variation of that line before. Can I have this? Probably not. Stop that! I need that as a template! Okay, let's talk to you. Birgit was Mother Superior's favorite student. She had to be the happiest child in the world. Uh, not so sure about that. Hello, Birgit. Um, don't even bother trying to distract me, Lily. Unlike you, I actually have a sense of duty. You don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just standing around like a moron all day. Like you. I work hard to get all those honors and rewards. The only thing I'm missing on my path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my embroidering skills. Mother Superior loves the embroidery because the pictures of animals convey important values. But you wouldn't know anything about that. You've always been terrible at embroidering and everything else for that matter wow you're just not nice at all literally the only person we've encountered so far that's nice is edna let's talk about mother superior oh take your little boo-boos to mother superior i'm not her deputy yet but maybe that'll change once i've collected all my awards <laughs> i'm already her favorite I don't think that means very much here. Also, I don't think you're ever going to become the deputy. Missing banner? Be quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it's gone. Thanks a lot. Great job, Lily. If you want help, ask Mother Superior about a suitable animal role model. I'm already done with all my patterns. And remember, at this time of day, Mother Superior is always in the cafeteria, drinking a soothing tea. So don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in there alone. And hurry up. My grades depend on it. Yay, I have another task. For someone I don't like this time. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, it's called embroidering. <laughs> I know it's not your area of specialty. Otherwise, I doubt Mother Superior would have banned you from taking it. What a shame. I know how much you've always enjoyed embroidering. Lily had to admit that Birgit was right. Her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for Lily to wish an incurable disease on her. Neither a disease with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to cough her lungs out. I think it's the case that Lily just hasn't been given the chance to become good at embroidery. People will get very good at things if they're given the opportunity to do so. <sighs> Stop bothering me. If you carry on like this, I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Let's ask about this. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Haven't you learned anything at all from my multi-award winning embroidery? Each animal has an assigned character trait. Theirs represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. That's just rude. Also, can you open this thing with a guinea pig in it, please? What's that supposed to be? An Animal motif? Uh-huh. No animal motif looks like that. Animal motifs are always on a pedestal. Don't you know anything? So, get something on a pedestal for her. 
Because I don't think a guinea pig is going to be as good as an eagle. Would you like some marbles? Don't distract me. Unless you have an idea what I can embroider next. I need the perfect motif. An animal that embodies important values. Yeah, that's probably going to be the guinea pig. And by that, I mean it's not going to be the guinea pig. Hey, would you like to do my work for me? Don't distract me. Unless you have an idea. I need an animal. Okay, that's exactly the same. What about the air hammer? This will help you, right? Don't dis- Unless I need Okay, literally nothing else. And there's nothing else we can do in this room at all, so... I suppose we're just leaving. There are a few more places we can go, but that will be for next time, folks. But when we come back, we are just getting even more tasks piled on top of us. More and more tasks. And no way to solve them. But I'm sure everything will come together. That said, we are going to have to get past these people at some point. And that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. We also want that balloon at some point, too. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, for the continuing adventures of everyone being mean to us. Seriously, only Edna is nice. Only Edna is nice. And even Edna's talking over us. There's something really wrong with this place, beyond the obvious. Beyond the obvious, that is very obvious indeed. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.